Easy Troop, what I want to show you today is how to make a countdown for your album release, product release, merch drop, whatever it is that you can place on your website. So you can do something a little bit like the countdown we've got here or like this landing page example here. One thing I noticed when looking to do this myself is pretty much everywhere pushes you towards either a paid service or uh, some kind of sketchy plugins that you need to add that are then subscriptions and whatnot. You can do this with code relative relatively easily uh, and depending on your website or template as long as it supports JavaScript you'll be absolutely fine. I'll show you two ways we can optimize this in Squarespace today. So this is just my test page here. It is simply a page I use for testing things that isn't necessarily listed and I can find it easily. So what we need to do we'll go into our Squarespace settings here and we've got all my pages over here on the left hand side right at the bottom I've got my test page in not linked and we can see at the minute it says preview in safe mode which you know, we can see here because it doesn't run scripts while editing now if we edit it and we give it a good double click we can see the code here linked up on the screen now and in the description below if you miss it will be the ability for you to download this code script so that you can just drag and drop it into your website with a block just some key things to note about it okay here it says change font size and color as desired and that's where you're able to change your font color and your font size so for example we could change this from 72 to 90 hit save and when we refresh over here, it's now all misaligned because we've made it up to 90 rather than 74. You can change your color, they're all the CSS colors. So I could put green in, it's gonna be a bright green. If you want to do the hashtag configurations, you can work it out that way if you've got specific branding you need to align to. And then we've then got the text align, so text align center, but if you want to make it left or right, you can just adjust this to be left or right and then position absolute or does it need to be indented, etc. And the spacing around it is all in this section. Moving down, we've got how the countdown itself is made. You don't need to edit anything apart from these these are your targets right so this is the date you're going to so year month and day and then this is the time that it's going to trigger for so you can have it trigger a specific time of day on a specific date if you adjust those then we're good to go so for example we can make it 2023 here let's make it so it's only going to be the fourth and we'll have it so it happens on the first of the fourth we're going to refresh this it will now readjust our font back there we go 17 days 13 hours 39 minutes outside of that there shouldn't really be anything else that you need to edit with this but placement on your website can be important as well now I'm using Squarespace here and the way that I've got it to sit in the exact center like this where I want it to be on my particular template I'm using here is an older version of Squarespace so I'm using something called the spacer if I select up here, you'll see that everything drops off to the side. And if I now save that, even though we're centered, it's gonna knock everything over to the side here and not be exactly as we wanted. So we use a spacer block. It's basically a bit of code that just says this area is filled up with a blank bit of code, basically. So if I hit edit over here on Squarespace, just do a plus to add anything and do S and P, that'll let me add a spacer. Drag it all the way over to the side, you can have it so it just goes on that block or so it takes up this whole section of the page. We'll do the whole section of the page and there we go that we can drag it and space it as we need and see fit. And yeah, we want them so they're both the same size. Now, if you're in a liquid form of Squarespace, which I can go to another site and show you that, to add a blank section in this case, we've now got this here. So we add blocks here. So this time I'll need a code block. I'm gonna drop the code, edit and Hopefully we've got everything in already. Okay, so now we have to move it around in the right sections. We've got a nice center here. We can drag the sides out so we're even both ways and we could even narrow it down like so and just position it as we need it. And then once we save that there, that would be how that is then presented to us. And I think we can demo it out. So we know that we would need to extend it or change the font size, work it from there. 
and there is our countdown from there. If you wanted to reduce it down to just say days and hours, you can just remove that in the code and just have it so it's just then the days and hours as well. So I really hope that's helpful for you. Um, go download the code and use this completely free. You can use it as many times as you want and adjust it as much as you want. It is yours to use forever. I hope the video has been helpful for you. Thank you very much. And if there's anything else you'd like to know about in Squarespace or website design in general, do give me a shout.